So as you can see, we are currently defending the Dreadfort yet again. Uh, this is in fact the third time since the last episode. Um, it looks like it's going really well at the moment, but we are actually losing a lot of troops each time we do this. Um, I'm wearing different armor. I got this as a reward from one of the battles. And um, I, I wanted to show you this tactic I was using. I was using all my archers at the bottom because um, the Wildlings were pushing this part really uh, aggressively, no matter what we put, no what we did. So as you can see, where my archers are right now, they were getting a load of kills from that position. I was also using my, you know, I think I explained this in the last episode. I was on the stairs and I was getting a load of kills. So I got like a shit ton of kills, like a lot of kills. Anyway, so I put enough money in my treasury to enlist a patrol, which is a free way of getting a hundred troops. And uh, it's a bit different from the previous versions of A Clash of Kings. You don't really get the best troops. Now, as it says, you can get the best troops, but um, I'll probably try that out next time but um I did get a hundred troops as you can see uh you know what they're pretty average um I'm, I'm gonna be looking at their stats later on in the episode when I do this uh, live recording because of course this is voice narration I uh, wasn't able to record live at the time anyway I'm getting a bit sick of defending the Dreadfort over and over and over uh, the north are not really helping me out they're not doing anything to try and take back their settlements which w I, I thought they were gonna do so as you can see I've got 236 men and I'm getting the hell out of here I've got about 20,000 coins so I'm going to buy um, enough food from White Harbor and the sisters to last me the trip to Flint's Finger which was a North settlement but was taken out by the Greyjoys so if I fail this I'm not going to have enough food to feed my army or almost probably afford them because it was quite expensive to hold all these men so if this siege went to shit then it would be I'll probably have to disband the majority of my army and start over which I didn't want to do. Um, and by doing this, I did had to, I, I had to ditch the Dreadfort, so that was lost, but it was going to happen eventually. I could not take on the entire Free Folk army by myself. I thought the North were going to help, but they didn't. You know, They didn't even attempt to take back their settlements, so it was a bit odd. So uh, yeah, there we go, it's gone. But you know what, we're going to try and make a new beginning with Flint's Finger, which is definitely a safer area, and the Iron... Islands are currently being attacked by the Riverlands. Um, they've actually took, taken one of their settlements. Now, it's said that I needed a siege tower for this battle, um, which took ages to build, by the way. Only we didn't need a siege tower. I don't know how the hell we were even going to get the thing up that hill, but anyway, it's quite open. It was quite a death trap. It was quite dangerous, but I found a sneaky way to get in. Now, I'll show you that now. So, there's this little bit here, and this is for advice to anyone who wants to attack this in the future. If you jump up here, you can walk across this roof. Um, all, the, all my troops are trying to get out that single ladder, which is just not going well, and they're getting shot to shit by archers from all over. Now, by doing this, I ended up getting so many kills, it's insane. Like, I don't, I think I got over 100 kills this battle. So, I went around and flanked around the entire side, and eventually I flanked the giant group of men um, at the top of the ladder. And because they weren't expecting it, you know, I got so many kills, like a lot of kills, I'm not going to lie. And it was awesome. Um, we got a lot of archers from doing this, so that definitely reduced the amount of kills. Um, uh, yeah, obviously, how many men we lost. Um, so yeah, it all was going well, even though we did lose like a lot of men. We lost like over a hundred men, I think. Uh, Seventy to eighty were wounded. Um, yeah, so yeah, we did win. I sort of just sort of spoiled that, but anyway, I'm going to show you what I did. Now, I was pretty undetected for the majority of this uh, fight. Um, I didn't really lose any help until the very end. I think it was like one of the last waves which spawned. I got shot like to shit from behind, I think. I think it was archers from behind or the archers in the tower just changed to focus on me. And I just like died with like two shots. So, yeah. Anyway, um, victorious of course. Uh, it's time to do some live recording now. Um, it's a new beginning. We've got a new kingdom. Uh, we've got to run and we need to try and get some money going and uh, I'm not sure how much more I want to invade the Iron, um, uh, the Great Joys or whatever. So um, yeah, let's see how this goes. So here we are with our new castle, which is uh, quite far away from the Wildlings. Um, yeah, rip the Dreadfort. Um, but you know what? I'm actually quite happy. It was it was annoying me for quite some time, and once I, f I sort of knew this was going to happen for a while, but I I kept trying you know different you know different things. Uh, you know I even let them take it back, and then for myself to take it back. Um, but we will go back to the Dreadfort. The Dreadfort will be ours once again. But obviously we need to build up our forces. We need to get some a good a good flow of cash going, as well as um, 
you know, we need a bigger army, but, you know, bigger troops. Now, I've actually already recruited men from here. Now, this is a north settlement, so I am getting north troops from here. Now, I did um, put some money. Now, I don't have a lot of money left. I did have, like, 24,000, I think I did. Um, I, I made that from... Also, you can probably tell my crown. Um, obviously, when you start off your own faction, you get the chance to get a, like a fancy crown or like a cheap crown. I got the cheap one, and it ends up actually working really well with my set. I, I think I look like some kind of like, I don't know. I, I like it. I'm like a rough lord, you know, because I am. We are we're not exactly, you know, um, I don't know, in a good situation. Anyway, I saw this haunted tower, and I wanted to check it out. Um, and as, as I was saying before, um, I, I did put more money in the treasury. And I did get another patrol, so I got another uh, 100 men. So we should be good for now. And I've, actually, before I forget, I do want to... Oh, do I have any of the troops on me? I don't think I do. Okay. Hopefully I don't forget. Oh, um, you can actually look at your troops' um, gear. So we'll be looking at that in a bit. Um, I'm look, I'm, I do want to look at the cell swords um, gear. Anyway, so this is the Haunted Tower. Um, Since it's really close to our home, I thought, you know, I might as well check it out. Explore the Blind Lord's Haunted Tower to gain experience. Okay. Oh shit, what have I done? I pressed K too many times. Damn cool. The tower is a complete ruin, nothing but a shell. But a strange moaning sound can be heard from inside the perhaps the No. No, 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 no. Moaning Oh god. Perhaps the um perhaps the cause of the wind being forced through the broken window causing I hope so. I really hope so. This is when something pops out and I scream and throw my throw my mouse off the table and just run away screaming. Now I must be missing something because I don't know. I'm definitely missing something. Oh, there we go. Did it? Okay, cool. I thought I should, I'll show you guys that anyway. So cool. We visited the haunted tower. I'm not sure what kind of experience we get because I don't actually see anything like pop up or anything. But uh, I still feel like I'm doing something wrong all this time. But I haven't, be, I haven't been getting that many hateful comments for a while, so who knows? Anyway, it's time to get it's time to get some of those troops and see what their armor's like, so we can sort of get an idea of what our main sort of army's going to be like. Okay, so we are losing a bit of money. So there is some money left in the treasury, but not not, not a lot. So let's go manage the garrison. So these are the main guys we got. We got a lot of these guys, and then we got the upgraded versions, which are these guys. So yeah, and they are cell swords, which is quite concerning because cell swords normally cost a bit more than normal troops. Um, let's compare them to my veil vale sergeant. Veil vale sergeant twenty eight, and these guys are thirty six. Okay, let's look at their equipment. So this is the, this is the slightly better one. Let's see your equipment. It's actually, not that bad. Four lead and fifteen. 25 helmet, swords okay, yeah, not bad, not bad, and they, and they do look pretty cool as well, which is quite nice. Um, I, sh I should probably look at their stats as well, but anyway, let's, let's, let's talk to this guy, let's see his equipment. So this is, wait, is it, oh, it's the same, wow, really? I think it's actually the, the same stats. It's probably just their skills which are different. I don't know, probably, anyway. So, um, yeah, that's that. That's our main force. Um, oh, look. Malik has leveled up, has um, quickly upgraded his skills. Let's give him strength of 20 now, because why not? Um, he's got a draw of 6 already, which is awesome. And, yeah, I've leveled up, actually, like, I think five times in, within the last two episodes. I've leveled up so, so many times. I need, I need to get my Weapon Master up so I can um, add more to these skills, because that's all I'm, all I'm using right now. Um, so, for my equipment, I thought I might as well show you. I've got thick chain mail uh, Hallberg. I don't even know that. I think that's how you say it. Um, so I got the same horse. I got this. I think this is a slightly better axe. And then there's my helmet. So this one's got slightly better, as you can see. But doesn't look as cool. And of course, I have to stand out because I'm goddamn awesome. That's why. And I'll show you over here because I'm probably you're probably wondering. So the Riverlands have taken ten towers because, as you know, they did declare war on them. So they have sort of fought back. I think first they took Sea Guard, which I think the Iron. Islanders did take so yeah this this is going to be a lot better of course and it's got they got they have to travel quite far to come even um, to even uh, get to me so I don't think they'll be coming after me anytime soon which would be nice because I think they're more focused on ten towers which is more on their main land so anyway but um right now I'm gonna go do some traveling I've got a lot of troops in there which need healing up still 
And I'm gonna go basically just go in and explore, which we, we which we haven't done in a long time. So um, I'm I'm gonna go down south and see what's up. Okay, so I wasn't looking, and we've been uh, approached by some broken men. There's 62 of them, and we only have 25 troops on us. Now I did actually just get a nobleman. It was a thing that popped up saying a, a nobleman has joined your cause. Um, now I do have archers with me, which I feel like might actually might really help with this. Um, I'm not feeling too scared because I I don't think they're that well upgraded. They seem to have hoods on, which is not reassuring, you know, it's not really scary, is it? Um, but, um, yeah, they seem to be all the same unit, which may be kind of cool. We do have a lot of cavalry with us. We're not really, a lot died, actually, now that I think of it. We've only got, like, yeah, all the knights died. I, I remember now. So, anyway, they are coming from this direction. I, I would like to get some height advantage, which I think we do have. Okay, so we got a couple kills so far, not bad. I'm going to try and distract them with my cav, see if they can go after my cavalry. And go back up the hill. If they can, then my archers will be able to shoot them from behind, which would be really nice. Oh, no, I don't. I don't know what causes this. You tell them to do something, and they just instantly attack. Okay, let's bring my archers back. Charge, charge. Okay, whatever. This is, didn't go to plan at all because the. No, I, I think there's like a bug where they just in, automatically charge. But we seem to be smashing them anyway. They're, yeah, they're not really high level at all. I need to get my archers out of the fight. So I can try and shoot them from a distance. There goes my horse. Okay, we seem to be doing okay, actually. I did not- I'm not warmed up today, I feel so off. I got hit way too many times. Um, so we, we actually did take him on. I, 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 I have cavalry left. I think that's Ethian. What's he doing? Ethian! No, he's just killing someone. Not bad at all, actually. Yeah, it's just their gear is awful, absolutely awful. But um, there we go, cool. And the axes themselves are rubbish. Um, this isn't that bad, actually. Twenty-seven swings, not not too bad. Anywho, uh, victorious, of course, which is awesome. And this is where I got attacked from, which I wasn't expecting. Um, I'm probably going to get attacked by raiders now, so I do need to be careful. I think the raiders will be coming after me. I need to try and get into Sea Guard if I can. Man, look at this. All the lords are going straight out there. Let's go into Sea Guard and let's just, um. Let's wait here for some time. Wait, wait for the raiders to walk past. Oh, there we go. Awesome. Anyway, so let's go to Fair Market. This is a, a city. You're traveling through the forest and you suddenly spot a. Um, suddenly spot a lot of mushrooms, brown and sweet smelling. You decide to pick them up and eat them, of course. Oh, that wasn't too good, was it? I lost my strength and agility. Awful. Not good. Not good. Hmm. Oh well. Shit happens. Cool. Let's see if anyone actually upgraded as well. So what did I lose? I've got. So my nobleman's alive. Archers, good. Uh, I think I lost some of my horsemen. I think. I'm not even sure. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see what we can get at fair market. Speed through this. Let's go to the marketplace. What, what, what have they got for us? Nothing good. I, I hate the look of this armor. It looks so awful. Any weapons? Any weapons? Oh, look at that great sword, masterwork great sword. Wow, that does look cool. And anyway, let's sell all the crap we just got. I believe my companion's got a load of stuff as well, which would be nice to sell. I might save that for a companion. Actually, it's a good coif, quality coif. Um, so, ooh, let's sell that as well. I don't even need it. I might as well sell this. Oh, wait, wait. What am I doing? They can't even afford all this. Okay, we got a ransom broker. I had to stop recording because there was a dog outside, of course. Because that's what happens every time I... Uh, yeah, I can't even speak now. I'm, <laughs> I'm too pissed. Um, as in angry, not drunk. Um, okay, let's sell these axemen. They don't sell for a lot, but there we go. It's enough. It's enough. 
And I think that's going to be it for our time at Fair Market. Uh, I might continue traveling down south. Might go to. I'm not sure. Won't even. I'm not even sure what's happening down here. So the Stormlands. I think they still own that. Yeah, they should. I think they still had it last time I checked. It's been like since like episode two. I think I haven't checked. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm feeling pretty comfortable about uh, my seat, my uh, my castle just holding. So I might just keep on uh, traveling around, and I might get some recruits while I'm here as well because because why not? Why not? Let's go some raiders. Yeah, let's go some raiders. See if we can get some of their cool gear. All right, here we go. Haven't killed any raiders in a while. Oh, there goes me horse. Shit. Wasn't expecting that. Give me your horse. Ow. Get him, boys. I'm gonna look off the archers. That'd be right. Oh my god, I'm missing everything today. Gotta try and save save my levy. There we go. Wasn't too hard. Oh, we got we got one more over here. Sneaky bastard. Awesome. Not bad at all, guys. Not bad at all. We didn't lose a man. And they get anything cool. Oh, we got a lance. Oh, nice. I haven't used a lance in ages. I don't even remember how to use them. <laughs> cool. There we go, guys. Well, guys, I think I'm going to end it there for now. It's been a long day of recording. It doesn't look like it, but I've spent a long time playing and recording. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. Next episode should be a bit more interesting than the last few. Um, we're in a new area. I'm going to be exploring a bit more as well. We'll see what's happening in the world of... Or in the land of Westeros, I should say. Um, and yeah, that'd be cool. And obviously, we'll be trying to manage uh, Flint's Finger a bit more. And then we'll see what... We, what you know, what's the next stage? Do we continue attacking? We could, you know, invade some of these places um, since, you know, they are pretty occupied with uh, the, the Riverland forces attacking. So, anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching. I don't even know where I am, shit. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, thank you for watching. Likes and comments are much appreciated. And I'll see you next time. Ta-ta for now. <laughs>